been using the Ronnie rig for quite a few years now, um, probably four years, I would think. Number of reasons. First of all, when I first come across it, I realized how easy it was to tie and the amount of rigs I get through over my fishing period, I want something that's fairly easy to tie, you know? I don't want to be, I hate, I actually hate tying rigs. So anything that's going to be easier and quicker to tie is a result for me. But the main reason is the performance. Now, most of the venues I fish at the moment have been strictly barbless in the last few years, and I want a rig that's going to be reliable. So I've used various different presentations over the years with sort of mixed success, some with like, some where I've lost quite a lot of fish on, some where I've had sort of 80%, which is not too bad. But when I got on the Ronnie rig and fishing with the barbless hook, I had an incredible streak without losing a fish to a hook pull. Um, I actually went 18 months in between losing fish and fishing places like I fish, um, at the time I was fishing farriers and kingfisher on the Bluebell complex, they're mega, mega weedy waters. And as I said, they're barbless venues, so strictly barbless hooks only. Um, I had over 100 fish without losing one to a hook pull. So when you're putting every fish on the bank, you just gain so much confidence in what you're using and why would you change, you know? It's reliable, it's easy to tie and you don't lose fish. It's just an absolute no brainer for me. Yes. Well, there we go. Another beautiful common caught on the Ronnie rig as per usual with me and it's been so reliable landing fish like this one 34 pound in quite a weedy venue and just knowing that you've got every chance you're going to land them because you're not losing many fish on those hooks it's it's just always nice to know it gives you that great confidence the Ronnie rig is such an effective rig it works on so many different venues and people listening in might think, yeah, it's been done to death, the fish are wised up to it, but I don't really believe a fish wises up to a presentation. Um, it, it just works, you know, and all the venues I fish are heavily pressured and they see every rig day in, day out. But for me, the main thing is to get them competing for food, you know, getting your rig on the right spot where they want to feed, give them food that they want to eat, and you will catch them on an effective presentation and the Ronnie rig certainly is that. One of the key things that makes it sort of really effective for me is I always used a fairly balanced hook bait. So it just kind of slowly sinks. The weight of the swivel on the Ronnie rig is just enough to, just to make the hook bait sink. Sometimes you need a little bit of putty if your, boy, if your hook bait is more buoyant, but you're, you're making it slow sink. And the fact that I use a semi-stiff hook link always kicks the hook bait away from the lead. So if a fish comes and picks it up and spits it out, it's always going to reset itself perfectly. And sometimes you've even got birds sort of diving on the bait and they can pick up the rig and spit it out. But the, the semi-stiff hook link always just kicks it out nicely. So no matter how many times you've been picked up and spat out, you're always fishing and you've always got that perfect presentation. Hook bait wise for the Ronnie rig, you always want to fish a buoyant sort of pop-up basically because you don't want a bottom bait because the mechanics of the rig dictate that you kind of need a pop-up, a slow sinking bait. So most of the time I use sort of free hook baits for, for, for pretty much most if not all my fishing. Um, first one, double plastic corn. I often put quite a bit of sweet corn in with my mix so the double plastic corn is the perfect hook bait for fishing over the top. One of the key sort of things that makes plastic corn really good is that it never loses its buoyancy. The buoyancy never changes. So once you've got your rig balanced out, is always gonna, the, the buoyancy is always gonna be maintained. So I always use the second biggest corn in the ESP double corn mix. They, they do four different sizes of corn in the pack. And the second biggest is what balances out perfectly with a size six hook on my Ronnie rig. So I use that for quite a bit of my fishing. Um, I also use a Northern Special in 12 mil. Now they're a little bit more buoyant, so I'd need to put a little bit more putty on the rig just to make it sink down slowly. And the third hook bait of choice is, I quite often put a bit of boilie in the mix as well. So just a little live system pop or a 15 mil live system pop up. Particularly if there's some tench around, then I tend to go for the bigger boilie pop up. And again, I need just a little bit of putty just to, just to take out the buoyancy of the hook bait. So the main thing really is you need a pop up just so that, it, that the Ronnie rig sits upright and the hook bait just slowly sinks down. 
So overall, if you're using a pop-up, you're pretty much going to have to add a bit of putty. But the good thing about the plastic corning with the four different sizes are there is a size of corn that you will be able to use to balance out the hook without having to add any extra putty. So my top tip when it comes to setting up the Ronnie rig is to always test it in a tank before you go out fishing. There's lots of different gauges of wire on hooks, different size swivels, and so many different components that you can use to make up the Ronnie rig. You have got to make it work for you. So you've got four different sizes of plastic corn in one tub. You just need to see which one is going to balance out perfectly with your rig components, and that can be done at home just in a little tank. With the plastic corn, it's always worth just keeping it in a pot and soaking it in your favourite flavour just to give it that extra little boost to get the carp to home in on your hook bait. So that's it for the Ronnie rig. Um, it's nothing groundbreaking. It's been around for a long time, I know. But at the end of the day, it's a rig that I've used for a long period of time. The reason being is reliable, it resets itself and is easy to tie. And for me, it ticks all the boxes.